Team Pokey Colors family, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at something that I think you guys should be investing in. Uh, and we'll get to that here in just a second. Take a code card for a brilliant stars pack on the TCGO or uh, TCG Live. I don't know actually if it's TCG Live yet or TCGO, but nonetheless, there you go. Enjoy the code card. Um, but today, guys... Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, make sure if you are subscribed to check to see if your notifications are turned on because if you're not, so if you're subscribed and your notifications are not turned on, then you will not get any of our uploads in your subscription feed. So make sure you hit the bell notification icon, please. And thank you very much. So today guys, we're gonna be taking a look at something that uh, I've been seeing uh, go around, I guess, in terms of collecting and whatnot. Um, but today, I'm going to be telling you why I think you guys should invest in Pokemon Celebrations. Yes, that's right. Pokemon Celebrations, the set that is still continuously popping up in Walmarts, Targets, and everything else, getting restocks here and there. But I'm going to explain and show you guys a couple of case examples as to why I think you guys should invest in Celebrations. So, first of all, let me ask you this, okay? Yes, there's very many cards in the classic collection that are very cheap. Um, just for example, I think Rocket Zapdos goes for around 89 cents, um, another classic collection. And then you have Team Rocket Returns, also around that price range, if not cheaper, uh, according to TCG player values. But the most expensive one at the moment from Celebrations, aside from Gold Mew from the classic collection, is obviously the Charizard. Uh, I think he clocks in around to $38 now near Mint, which is significantly lower than what he was when it first came out for him being around $100. Um, or, no, maybe it's not $38, maybe it's $80, bucks, something around there. I'll throw the price on the screen. But here's the thing. This box right here, Celebrations ETB, it's not going for that. It's going for a lot more. I mean... If you look at, you know, the, the amount of packs, the promos, and the packs, you know, like all the cards that you could pull from the classic collection, majority of them, unless you pull like two Charizards, will not make your money back. So here's what I'm thinking. Invest in sealed, okay? Because what'll happen is the sealed product will go up in value, and then the cards will slowly follow along in the upward trend. Take, for example, one of my favorite sets of all time, uh, black and white plasma freeze okay would you rather let me ask you this this is a thought exercise okay would you rather have a plasma freeze um booster box sealed or would you rather have all the cards or most of the cards from the set because i can tell you i have most of the cards from the set and it does not anywhere come close to the price of the sealed booster box uh last time i checked i think it was around three thousand dollars or maybe 1,000. Uh, Evolutions is another good example. You know, you could have the set complete for around, you know, a quarter of the price of a sealed booster box, but yet the sealed booster box still goes for around eight to nine to one thousand dollars, which is ridiculous. Eight to nine hundred dollars. So, in terms of celebrations, yeah, you can still get it in stores, but let me show you guys a case example for me personally. So in the background, you guys might have seen these um, Evolutions ETBs. I got two of them, one of each colorway. Super happy to own those and they're never gonna be opened. Um, they're gonna be in my sealed collection for as long as I do Pokemon content or even hold a single Pokemon card. Now, let me tell you a funny story. So these uh, Evolutions ETBs were popping up in Walmarts back in the day back before the big boom, back in 2019 is when I got these two bad boys. $30 a piece, okay? $30 a piece. And at the time, Evolutions was, you know, still popping up in mystery boxes and the three-pack blisters that were out with, uh, I think, some Sun and Moon, you know, older Sun and Moon three-packs that were still on the shelves. I mean, you could still maybe even get lucky and find single blisters. Um, I mean, at the time, too, I was able to find Primal Clash single blisters, so... You know, it really just depends on, you know, the time that you were able to find these. But now, if you go on eBay and look up a price point for both of these combined, it's around $500 last time I checked. I've seen it go as low as $300, but, you know, three to $500 in that price range for a $60 investment, I'd say is a pretty dang good deal. And these were even, I got these on clearance at Walmart. 
So they were even cheaper than the price of the normal ETBs at the time. And uh, yeah, it's just something to think about, okay? Now, I know it's a lot older than celebrations and it may take a lot longer for this elite trainer box to reach the price point of one of these. But what happens when you know, you have so many people wanting the Elite Trainer Box sealed for their sealed collections, they're going to start paying more. Or it's only going to take, you know, maybe a year or two before uh, people start realizing the value of Celebrations and the fact that they have so many beautiful reprinted cards in the Classic Collection, as well as the uh, 25th Anniversary stamp. I mean, I know this is the 25th Anniversary, but look at the 20, 20th Anniversary Elite Trainer Box, you know? It's a lot more expensive than the most expensive card in the set you know and i think my local game store they want to i think they have one in stock for about a thousand dollars which is absurd when you could put most of that money towards the set and pretty much complete it aside from maybe a few cards um i'm not too sure on that however i haven't really looked into generations but to say the least guys i think right now with the way the market's looking you know if you don't have high-end PSA 10s or really minty vintage cards, the best money that you guys can probably put into the market right now is in sealed product because, you know, even look at Evolving Skies. It's only been out for, I think, six months maybe now at this point, maybe even a little bit more. And the price of the booster box has pretty much gone up by point, you know, 0.5 or something like that. Like people are charging, you know, $200 now per booster box and I've opened three. Uh, technically, I have another one somewhere, but uh, yeah, a lot of the cards from the set are still holding their value to this day, if not going up more in value because of the fact that there is a need and a want for them. But like at the same time, when it, Evolving Skies came out, you know, I was able to go to my Walmart and buy 36 single sleeved blisters just because it was available and they didn't have any limits. And you know, if you guys haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. I'll link it in the top right corner. It's the uh, booster box comparison video. And I think that was when we pulled the uh, Rayquaza VMAX alternate art, which is a very expensive card now. Um, but personally, you know, people, I, I'll see comments here and there saying like, oh, you should invest in this or invest in vintage or look into PSA cards. But the thing is like, if you're not buying PSA 10s or Charizards in a PSA 7 or 8 or 9 or 10, I mean, I think your safest option right now with what you can purchase in the stores, if you can find it, is Celebrations because it's such a niche set and the print run, yes, it's still going on, I believe. I don't think it's out of print or if it is, it just ended not too long ago. But, you know, if you look at Evolutions, it was printed out the wazoo. You could find Evolutions in tins for the next five years. If they stop Celebrations already, chances are the, the product scarcity is only gonna go up as more people open up the product. So. You know, even for sealed, <laughs> even for sealed elite trainer boxes from Evolutions, being thirty dollars on clearance, um, really, I mean, I think with celebrations, if you can find any sealed product, I think it's a good hold, a good like a good holding, you know, investment piece. But that's just me, guys. Don't listen to me. I'm giving my opinion, personal opinion here, not a financial advisor. Um, and personally, if you can find this box. Um, the uh, Pikachu VMAX Premium Collection Box with this figure. I think that is a uh, amazing product to hold sealed because this figure alone, you know, if you look at the uh, Hidden Fates figure from, you know, way back when with the Rayquaza stand with the card holder built in, that bad boy's going for, I think, close to 50 or 60 bucks now just for the figure. So, you know, there's value in the products that come in the boxes sealed as well. So honestly, you guys can do what you want with your money. I just think that uh, Celebrations is really underrated right now. And in terms of like sealed holding investment purposes, because um, I mean, you know, Evolving Skies is still going up in value, but there's a lot of pull potential in there. So um, I really just think that Celebrations is gonna be on that next trend up as you've already seen some prices of sealed product going up in value. Um, the only thing that sucks about this one I have is it's got a little tear right here. So I don't, I don't know. It kind of, it really sucks. Um, I didn't really know about this before I got it. So I should have picked a nicer one, but nonetheless, let me know what you guys think in the comments, what you guys are investing in right now. Also, obviously you can't go wrong with vintage. I mean, 
if you have minty vintage cards, those are always going to be in demand. However, you can't buy vintage at your local Walmart anymore, obviously, unless you get super lucky. I mean, you might be able to find some like early XY or even black and white stuff being stocked from warehouses or something like that. But here's a code card to finish out the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to have a discussion with you guys. Let me know what you guys are uh, looking into in terms of investment and let me know what you guys think about celebrations, whether it's overrated, underrated, I don't know. Personally, I think it's underrated in terms of sealed value, but that's just me. Let me know in the comments. Hopefully you guys have a great day. Be sure to check out the links in the description and go follow my whatnot page as I will be doing a live on Monday, April 18th at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you there. I'm gonna be selling off a decent amount of my collection as well as PSA cards if we get to it. But uh, yeah, hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.